Hi, my name's Lachlan. I'm from the SAP Phone Shop team and today I'm going to be showing you the Inmarsat iSAP Phone 2. The Inmarsat iSat Pro 2 uses a bright transflective display that ensures optimal visibility in harsh sunlight or dim conditions and a user-friendly interface that allows quick access to essential functions. The screen resolution also aids in clear communication and navigation. When lifting the cover and pressing the assistance button, users can send out an emergency distress signal. The assistance button can be set up with a global 24-7 emergency center or you can link your own contacts to the button. GPS is built into the phone, which enables accurate location sharing, all with the touch of a button on the side of the phone. When pressing the tracking button, your coordinates will populate with your longitude and latitude, and these can be sent to a contact via a text or email message, and can also be sent in set intervals, for example, every 15 minutes. The phone has an IP65 rating, which means the device is dust resistant and will prevent any harmful deposits from entering. It can withstand jets of water, making it suitable for harsh weather conditions when traveling in the outback. Bluetooth enables hands-free operation through compatible devices like a headset. The Bluetooth feature adds to the overall convenience and functionality, especially for business users or those constantly on the move. There are nine icons displayed in the main menu. The envelope icon represents messaging and is where you send and check new messages in your inbox. The second icon is contacts, which is where you can add your recipients. The third icon is your call log, which will display your dialed and missed calls. The fourth icon is profiles, which is where you can adjust the sounds of your phone. Location services is the fifth icon, which is info about sending tracking information, as well as editing the assistance button. The sixth icon is the clock icon, if you would like to set an alarm for your phone. The spanner will be for settings, such as date, time, language, and security. The eighth icon is your GPS position, which will display your last GPS fix taken and your latitude and longitude at that time. Network connectivity is the ninth icon and that will provide further advanced settings and troubleshooting for the network operator. When ready to activate your SIM, you can either request us to load your voucher by calling us during our business hours, or you can load your prepaid voucher into the phone directly by going into menu, settings, prepay, and then redeem voucher and entering in your 16 digit voucher code. Okay, so when operating your Inmarsat phone, you need to be in a clear open area with no obstructions around you. So be sure to be facing in a northerly direction as that's where the satellites are positioned with the Inmarsat network. So when you're operating the phone, you just extend the antenna to turn it upright and then it will try and lock onto a GPS position first. Once you've obtained your GPS position, then you'll be able to register to the satellite network where it will say ready for service. To locate the SIM tray of the phone, this will be positioned on the back of the phone. Open the tray by sliding it down and flip this outwards. Slide the SIM card if it is not already in and lock the tray again by sliding it back up. You could then put the battery back in once complete and then you can power on the device. To power on the phone, simply hold the end button, which is the red button on your phone momentarily until the screen lights up with the Inmarsat welcome screen. When accessing the dial pad, be sure to enter any numbers in the international format. So plus six one for Australia, drop the zero and then dial the rest of the number. Push the green button to call and the red button is to hang up. For texting, open the messaging app, go to create a new message and be sure to add the recipient in the international format. So plus six one, drop the zero, and then the rest of the number. 
You can then compose your message and then hit send. The tracking button is located on the right hand side of the phone. Press the button with an upwards arrow and you'll be able to view your coordinates once populated. Your position can then be sent via a text message or email by selecting one of your contacts.